hey guys welcome to the channel this is sony ht x20 r this is 5.1 channel sound by 400 watts this sound bar I can connect it to your tv via bluetooth optical cable and hdmi is with wired subwoofer and two rear speakers this sound bar will help you to lose yourself in a cinema style day so this will help you to take match days movie nights up a gear with sony ht x20 r it features a wired subwoofer that adds tension with crystal clear low frequency sound unwind with your go to playlist the sony ht 20 r isn't just great home cinema setup it is also a great sound system for your music just like your phone connect it to your phone via bluetooth and control your music from anywhere in your room a usb port too if you like to keep a few favorite music on your memory card simply plug in and play preset equalizer mode to suit you so you have preset mode to suit you whatever you watch or listening to sony ht 20 r 5.1 soundbar deliver the perfect sound balance with preset modes include cinema music and voice you can hear the finer details in the stringing movie scene or concept albums audio processing dolby digital dolby dual mono lpcm2 chan lpcm fx supported audio wav mp3 mwa sbc so we're going to check this stuff out and see what is inside i hope it help you to make informed choice So this is the power cable, optical cable, remote control, triple A battery, information pack, This is the subwoofer. And the sound bar. See what this like brilliant subwoofer nice look at that this is what it looks like so the front got metal grill the top is wood and the rear is plastic you have center speaker speaker here and on this side the rear speaker
this is the rear speaker a metal gray in front of it the back is plastic this is the second one There we go. See what it looks like. Metal gray in front. Speaker got blue color. And this one got gray color. So this is the sound bar here. And what is included, optical cable, battery, remote control, power cable, and this sandbar, the cables is attached to it. It hasn't got any power cable, so the power cable, only one power cable is for the subwoofer. So the sandbar needs to be connected here, and the rear speakers, see what it looks like. Now to measure this from this end to this end is 76 centimeter. And this is nine centimeter. The subwoofer from the bottom to the top is 39 centimeter. From the front to the back, 34 centimeter. And this is 19 centimeter. At the back of the subwoofer, the ports are optical. The first on the right, HDMI out, TV arc on the center one, analog aux. Is on the left side so the ports are on top at the back of the subwoofer now to set this up what you need to do is you need to take the power cable so connect it to the subwoofer push it in then plug it on to the power Then take the cable from the sandbar. So we got three cables here, red, white, and green. You will see front, center. So you take the sandbar cable, red, take the red one to the red color, push it in, then take the white to the white color, then take green, to the green color. This is front. Now take the rear speakers, take the blue color and connect it to the blue. Take this color with grayish colored one and connect it to the gray. And this in. So you need to make sure that the cables are connected properly. So the red one goes to the red, white goes to the white color, green color goes to the green for this sandbar. Then for the two rear speaker, left channel and right channel. So the front you have right and left channel is the center. So this is how to set this up. Now the next thing is for you to take the remote control, push this down to open it up. So take negative goes to the bottom on the right side, negative goes on top and the positive on the bottom. Then on the left side, positive on the top and negative on the bottom. Then slide this cover back up. And it's in. If you look on this subwoofer, you switch this sandbar and subwoofer on from this button. And this button is the input. This is the Bluetooth button. And this button to decrease the volume. And the plus is for you to increase the volume. You just need to tap on it. 
and it's showing us standby usb stick this is the usb port so with this remote control so if you select switch this on and once you switch it on it will ask you to wait i want to show you how to connect it using aux cable so what you need to do is first of all you need to go at the back of the subwoofer the ports are at the back so take the aux cable hook it up you will see analog in then take the other part of the cable connect it to your laptop connect it to your laptop hook it up and it's in then we ask you headphone so connect it to the headphone part then you select okay we ask you headphone then you select okay then turn this around you need to make sure you you get cable that is a bit longer so I'm going to leave it on top of the subwoofer. The next thing you need to do, you need to switch the soundbar on. Once you switch it on, please wait. Once you switch it on, it will tell you, please wait. Then use the input to select analog. It's showing us BT, USB, TV. Select analog. Analog is aux. So we're going to test the audio using Epidemic Sound or any music you have on your laptop. So I'm going to go to Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is music for content creator. Then go to save the music. So this is how to connect this. The only thing is you need to find the aux cable that is longer enough for you to hook this up. But this is how to connect this via analog.
If you remove it now, it will no longer be playing. You can see it's playing on the laptop.
you very much indeed guys this is how to hook this up via analog or aux cable if you're happy with this please do me a favor like share and subscribe it deserves your attention thank you very much indeed